Canada's capital city of Ottawa is surrounded by over 1,300 farms, making it the most agricultural city in the country. One of our stops on our travels through Ontario is to Chris's cousin's family farm in the rural area of Ottawa. Hi, my name is Krista. Welcome to the Speechtree Family Farmstead, established 2021. Krista and her family bought this land two years ago and have developed it into a farm with crops, animals, and gardens. It's been a while since we last visited and we're looking forward to seeing what it looks like today. Hi, I'm Chris. And I'm Emily. And we've taken early retirement so that we can travel the world, spend more time with family and friends, and work on projects that are meaningful to us. Today we're visiting our cousin's family farm to check out their fruit and veggie gardens and to meet the chickens, bees, cows, sheep, and of course, the dogs. Piper is 10 months old. Charlie is also the same age, but probably double or triple Piper's weight. And uh, brand new to the household last week. Let's visit the chickens first. So the chickens see us coming, so they're pretty excited right now. There you go, lady. So we have two, four, seven, eight, nine eggs so far today. Next up, we check out the apiary that Krista is starting. They're, it's cold, so they're kind of, you can, if you want to take a look in there, they, they're not out right now because it's pretty chilly. Krista also grows lots of veggies on the farm. Summer squash, watermelon, butternut squash. We will let the chickens come in here and clean this up, probably before I plant the garlic. So they'll come in and they'll just feast. They are not allowed in otherwise, <laughs> hence the fencing. So all of these marigolds uh, I've grown from seed, which I feel is a, a major accomplishment of mine. I'm not actually much of a gardener. <laughs> this is the barn. Oh, hello. You guys are right here. So this is Elsie, Franca, Gina. So in 2020, right um, in the middle of COVID, we made some really big life changes, thinking about what was important to us. And I had decided that I would really like to be closer to my family, who's around the Ottawa area. And my husband, affectionately known as Stetter Steve, he has always wanted to live on a farm. That's been his dream. All the pieces came together, everything aligned in, um, I think it was May 2020. The housing market in southwestern Ontario really exploded, hadn't caught up here in the Ottawa area, so we were able to sell our home and um, bought a farm, kind of on a whim, in, in um, just in a weekend. <laughs> this is Charlie, our very ferocious livestock guarding dog. We got him last weekend to protect the eventual lambs that we'll have on the farm. But so far he is a house guardian dog. This is our Bull Duke and he was born on the farm in February. It was very exciting for us. And I've been told he's quite a good looking bull. This is the greeting committee. Anita, Bonnie, and Claudia, and those, these are the three that are always spilling the tea. Looks like we've got some hay coming. The cows have given up on us and they're going to check out food. So far, it's been an amazing adventure. Uh, thank goodness Stetter Steve is as handy as he is. He built this barn in literally two months by watching YouTube videos. Our children are just thriving and it's pretty fantastic to see what they're learning, how comfortable they are with animals and really we're trying to teach them that connection to their food and where it comes from and the land. We have three apple trees here in our miniature orchard. And so far we 
I've got one apple. Our oldest son is named Sebastian, and we call him Bean as a nickname. So this is Bean's berry patch. He's eight and, and really kind of neglects it. This is my little oasis here. And that's our time on the farm. We hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you in the next one.